Um, very excited for her because she will very clearly enable plunge. Did they write more about what exactly she does? Let me pull up Twitter. Um, ooh, is this it? Her elemental skill can be used up to three times consecutive leaps. Plunging attacks will be converted. Yeah. Uh, burst summons a mechanism which heals all party members. Adeptal assistance also increases the jump height of all party members. Who is a plunge attack and additional anemo aligned follow up. They added follow up attacks. Additionally, her talent will increase nearby active characters plunging attack shock wave damage based on her attack when adeptal assistance stacks are present. So. For once, chat, no more porn acting. What this means is the following. First of all, her burst can enable plunging characters that otherwise wouldn't plunge. Second, she heals, which means at worst, she's a gene. Third of all, she increases the plunging attack shockwave damage based on her attack. We have to see how this works. Uh, it is safe for me to assume that it might work similarly to a Shanha, but for plunge. But how would I know? We have to see this is just based on the wording. If that is true, this might be good for Xiao. And if it is, then that's great. Because as it stands right now, one of Xiao's best teams, competitive as his best team, is Xiao, Faruzan, Farina, and then a healer. Either Jean or Bennett. Jean is like technically the best, but Bennett gives a lot of attack. And if you have enough healing, can be really good, potentially better. So if this character gives enough healing, why is her birthday four foot eleven? It's not dead. <laughs> Anyways, so if, if if she does all of that and give you plunge damage, then she might be really good for Shao. And that is great. And I can't wait. And we will make a new Shao video if that happens. Probably a new Shao guide and a new Shao gameplay. Now, something that I want to keep in mind that I want to uh, emphasize is that if her buff, we don't know how her buff works. We don't. But don't porn acting me. If her buff works the exact same way that Shenha Quills work, we don't know if they do. Okay, I'm being honest. I don't know if they do because she's not out. I assume they might given the wording. However, because, OK, look, like I haven't like played or anything. So all I know is the wording. And like the only thing that people would tell you before this is like official is the same shit that now is official for the most part. Some of it's still not official. So I assume it works like Shanna, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. Not played her. No, I wouldn't lie about that. If I played her, I wouldn't lie. I haven't played her. So like on God, I wouldn't lie about that. I haven't. So assuming she works like Shanna. The only thing that makes me mad is that Shenha Quills would benefit from or are multiplied. Um, I assume that like, I'm pretty sure this is how the formula works, but it effectively they will benefit from damage buffs, crit buffs, and attack percent is a little bit less valuable, which means Vermilion. OK, listen, <laughs> listen, it just means attack sets can be shut up. Don't fucking talk to me right now. Don't fucking talk to me right now. Don't fucking talk to me. There's a chance that Vermilion in the Soul Shinyan, the Shinyan, Shinyan, Shen Yun teams might be slightly worse. But, but don't listen here, motherfuckers. Listen here, motherfucker. You listen. That's okay. However, because of how much crit rate Marie Chose gives you and Jade uh, Spear being his best weapon and him having crit rate ascension, it, Vermilion can still be better unless you get like perfect dodging crit rate every time on Marie Chaussee, but also it gives you one less stat at max investment where Vermilion might still be better. We don't know the math isn't out, but wait, 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 wait. Let me be honest right now. A lot of people, listen, it, like it could be easier to go a set that just gives you crit rate, but it's all, at, at like super mid max Omega investment level. I would still argue for Vermilion unless you're going home up. Now, the reason why is because uh, allegedly if you get like two to three crit rate rolls, you're probably going to be overcapped on crit rate. And because of this, it effectively makes it to where not only do you not want to roll crit rate ever or Vermilion will be better, but also, also, also it makes one of uh, it gives you one more useless substat. So for example, let's say you're min max Shao like me, right? Every piece you have is going to have crit rate, crit damage, attack, and then maybe ER if you want ER. I don't need ER, but if you need it, sure. Okay. Realistically, uh, optimized Shao with C6 Farzan and, and this character and Farina probably won't need ER, maybe a little bit if you're not C1. But anyways, um, sure. Okay. So think about that. Let's say you're on a crit rate weapon, crit rate ascension, Marie Chose. What stats do you need? Well, you don't need crit rate or it's wasted. You don't need ER or it's probably wasted. So what do you want? Crit damage and attack, which means you can only have two useful substats. So two others are useless. Whereas with another set, the crit rate stat would be useful. So min max turbo investment level, there's a chance for million is still better. Uh, but if you perfectly roll into everything and dodge everything and only get crit damage, then there's a chance Marie Chose might be better. Now, does this matter for normal people? 
people? No. Either Strong Boss Vermillion or Farm Magic Shisei, which is a more efficient domain. But for someone who spent over 100k resin in a domain, I would rather pee into a mug than pour it onto... Okay, this... Okay. Boil it, then make it burning hot, then pour it onto my keyboard, burn the keys, then have to play with whatever's left for the rest of my life, never being able to change it, then have to change artifact sets on Chao after farming for so long. So ideally, it's still best in slot. I will see when it's out, when she's out. I'm sure Zajef will do the math. I'm sure Xiao Mains will do the math. I'm sure I will fucking stare at my monitor in disbelief. We'll see how it is. And I'll have a more educated opinion when that happens. However, it, I still would like to believe that for Jade Spear and Deathmatch, Vermilion is probably still going to be the best. Unless maybe super turbo optimized stuff. Zajef already did. Yeah, but first of all, not out. Second of all, I love Zajef. But when he did a video when Marie Chaussée came out, everyone's like, oh, Vermilion's dead, Marie Chaussée's better. And then, oh, what happened? Well, Vermilion is still better a lot of times. And then Zajef said that. And so stop listening to shit that comes out two weeks before the patch comes out because it's subject to change. So don't talk to me. But anyways, we'll see. Uh, also, um, if you're not running a crit rate weapon, then obviously this might change. And well, obviously everything changes. So there's a chance we play Homa Shao, which is a thing. I think full biased moment uh, full bias take, by the way. I think most nice. Shao players either like a like a large portion have a crit rate weapon with either Jade or Deathmatch. But if you have a Homa that's not being used, it is also great on Shao. So you know, I just think there's not that many people that are not not that many people, but like percentage wise, a lot less that are running Homa Shao. But if you are, it'll it is a good weapon. Yeah, right now, it's a good weapon. It'll probably be better uh, even later. So that's all. Right now, if you're wondering, it's about as good as Jade. It's slightly worse. It's better if you're under 50, but that almost never happens because you're running Bennett and Farina. So like, well, Farina drains her HP, but you're like healing it back up with either Bennett or Jean. But anyways, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to give like takes right now. Well, I did give takes, but I'm not going to like go into more details because I could be wrong. Uh, however, look, also, let me make this very clear. I am defending Vermilion on my own Chao, but I will never shill Vermilion to you guys. I, if you enter this domain, you should enter a fucking therapy session, okay? It's not bad to strongbox it, but Marie Chaussée is a lot more efficient to farm, okay? Marie Chaussée is way more efficient to farm, but you can strongbox Vermilion, just don't do the domain, okay? That's what I've been telling you. Um, So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. With that said, I'm wanting to play Star Rail today, so we have to do our Genshin dailies. I'm not going to stall anymore. Oh, wait. I didn't even look through Shen Yun's abilities. I just got stun locked. Okay, Shen Yun's ability. <laughs> um, what is this? Oh, yeah, this is her skill. Her skill looks really cool. I mean, we saw it in the trailer, right? You just fucking bird and you plunge. It looks really sick. And then, is that the burst? Wait, what is this? Talent. Yeah. Fang, are you still here? What do you think about Cloud Retainer? Dude, okay. Why do they do this? Dude, they're literally... Okay, okay. I mean this with the utmost respect. I mean this with the... No, no, I'm not talking about this. Dude, Chad, I'm talking about this. They didn't even show her eyes. I'm, I mean this with the utmost respect. Actually, I'm not going to say it. Okay, we're all getting